welcome back to Taffy Two Wheels. Today we're at Harley in Manchester. I'm just going to take you around the shop for a little look round. Then we're going to be testing the Sports Glide. It's going to be in vivid black. They do have a few more colours. I'll tell you about the spec and we'll do a walk round soon. So please join me. And remember, if you like stuff like this, please like and subscribe. See you later. I'm going to be testing this, the Sports Glide. Look at that. It's gorgeous, though, isn't it? In the meantime, I'll just let you look at these bikes. Look at that. All them Harley Davisons here. Immerse yourselves. Got everything you could possibly want here clothing, helmets, the full shebang. And outside you've got all these bikes you can test as well. And the sun's out as well. Right, we're here at Halley, let's test this bike. This lovely sports glide. That's nice, aftermarket pipe he's got on it. Wowzer. Well, let's go. The pegs on this are really comfortable. Straight away I feel comfortable on it. Feels lovely. I keep pulling my feet wrong way. <laughs> I'm in love, I'm in love, oh. my god this is gorgeous, this is so nice, <laughs> oh yes baby, the, the windscreen does come in different sizes, you get lots of aftermarket stuff on this bike, bigger bar rises, you can get a backrest for your passenger, you can get foot plates, you can get everything, how we do everything and there's plenty of chrome to polish so I like polishing I'll be fine with this the clutch has got a really good bite I'm finding this extremely comfortable the riding position is really nice I can touch the floor because the seat height's only about 680 millimeters I'm actually out with Gilly Bites today, we're testing Harleys. He's actually got a Harley, an iron, which you've seen me review before. We're in sunny Manchester today, which is not too bad really, weather-wise. The brakes are very, very good on this. I think I would like a little bit higher bars on this, but when you get a bike, you can mod it up to where you want, can't you really? You can really mod it up. So it doesn't matter. Because you can customise it to where you want. That's the good thing about Harley Davidson. We're just in the keys at the moment.
me being six foot two fits on this bike nice but how they do do a thing don't they they do um custom fit so they can make the bike fit you which is nice Very, very nimble. But he's got thinner tyres than the Harley. Sorry, he's got thinner. He's got thinner tyres than the fat boy. Welcome to the walk around on this lovely Harley Davidson Sports Glide. Look at the chrome on this then, and it's sporting an aftermarket pipe, which is very nice. The panniers, I'll show you on the walk around. First of all, I must tell you that this bike retails at 18 and a half, I think it's 18,599 on the road from Harley. That's brand spanking new and you can PCP it if you want. And you can spec it to whatever you want, basically. It comes with these standard. comes in three colours, Vivid Black, Vivid Black Deluxe and Atlantic Silver Metallic. Before there used to be five colours, I think they had a Storm White but this year's only got three colours. Right, I'll show you around. This bike has got the Walker 8 107 engine. It's 83 brake horsepower and 146 newton meters of torque at 2,750 rest per minute. It is a belt drive. The tyres are Michelin scorchers. This tank is 18.9 litres. And the seat height is 680 millimetres. It's a six foot speed gearbox. The emissions on this are 128. In case you're interested. It has got adjustable rear suspension as well. This is the Vivid Black. The difference between the Deluxe and this is that the panniers at the back on this are matte. And it's also keyless start. It's not got heated grips on. I don't know if you can fit them. You probably can fit aftermarket. Look at that lovely polished York and angle bars. Extremely nice. It does take E5 and E10 fuel. Right, we shall look now at these panniers. You've got to pull that lever there. And there's the soft shut. Watch. Open it. Look at that. That's nice, isn't it? It's a nice touch. And there's how you can take the panniers off, I think. Looks like it. There's a little bit of space in there. I'd be putting a rack on it, me. Shut it, push that down, and turn the key. Same around the other side. Key in, turn it. Maybe they work like key in pull up and it opens like that, shut it's the same, shut it, push it down, lock it, there's that, so there you go, what do you think about this, leave some comments and please subscribe, look at the manoeuvrability on this beast, yes I feel like I'll be back. Definitely feel like Arnold on this. Bet it don't look like you know. <laughs> oh.
going to take this on the motorway shortly. I could spend hours polishing this in my garage. Yes, absolutely gleaming. I'm sure it was a magpie in a former life. It's got a nice burble to this bike. This is the third Harley I've ridden. Well, I don't count the, the breakout because that was only a little bit of a ride. But compared to the breakout, this is a lot better angling because the big fat tyres on that breakout made it virtually impossible to angle. And then end up in the farmer's field on it a few times nearly. Uh, hey! This is absolutely the dog's bees. Yes, it's like a, a scene off wild hogs, this. Yeah, well, you will be Travolta. <laughs> Yeah, Travolta's got more row than me. I don't like these tram lines, they scare me. I'm in the middle of the road now. At least we're on the right track anyway. The front travel on these forks are nice and dandy. Notice there's no ref count on here. That's quite an, an ex exhaust note. Nice bumble to it. First slash cuts myself, but that's not bad. Here we go. Well, that's nice. Definitely need that screen. Definitely need the screen. It's very comfortable though. There's plenty of hurry up juice on this. Yes, there's lots of wind buffeted in. That's just because of that screen's tiny. I don't even why you, I just don't get the idea behind why you bother with that screen, personally. Like I say, it's just aesthetics in it. Aesthetics as well. I just bundle, see, that's the beauty about this Harley. You can just bundle, can't you? You don't have to go fast. It's not about going fast, it's about pausing. It's a Harley Davidson, for God's sake. It's synonymous with pausing and cruising and looking cool. Not that I look cool anyway I like, but I've got a crash helmet on so nobody can see my face. Which is probably a good idea. Just lovely. These mirrors are not so bad as well to be fair. Only small tiny things but they, they hit the spot where you can see your blind spots and stuff. So yes, I would definitely say this is a lovely bike and I've fallen in love with it. I have hook line and sinker. Oh hello. Who's that there? The Harley Davidson just come past me. I think he's some famous YouTuber, somebody called Billy Bikes. Never heard of him personally. I picked a good day again. It was raining earlier on, but now it suns out, bikes out as you might say. Please leave some comments and tell me what you think about this Harley Sports Glide. Have you got one? Do you do for commuting? Or do you use it just for riding now and again? I'll spend loads of time polishing it a little bit to probably what I'll be doing. Well, that motorway ride was very good. This bike's more than capable. Absolutely outstanding. We'll, we'll be taking it back now to Harley. I'd like to thank Harley Davidson of Manchester for letting me ride this bike. Thanks Rob. I've definitely enjoyed my time on this bike. 
put a valve on in a heartbeat but I'd have to mod it up to suit me so it would be quite expensive you've got these mod buttons though not really gone into them over today indicators either side keyless start hazards start horn and lights high beam low beam that's about it thank you for watching here we are back at Harley Well that's it for this test ride, thank you very much, see you soon, bye.